another bench day in the books. That's my boy, Bob Evans, a.k.a. The Big Show. I lost a bet, so now I have to call him Jacked and Dan. If everyone likes that nickname, comment below. I love Jacked and Dan. Dan, my boy, hit a 650-pound squat for five reps. Uh, his best in the meet, I believe, is around 680. He will be going for about a 425 bench, 700-plus squat. Uh, maybe creeping in on a 670, 680-pound pull. We will see. His training's coming along great. This is uh, probably his third heavy bench week out. There I am jamming. No, I'm not jamming to the big show's rock song. We had hip-hop going on. But uh, like I said, this is Dan. He's about three weeks out or so. Hitting some triples with about 365, somewhere around an opener probably. Uh, we will see as time gets closer. Me, myself, and I, I had about 290 pounds on the bar. Uh, and I think I did 10 to 12 sets of three. I'm trying to pause them all. I'm trying to keep my head on the bench for them all. Heels down, USAPL shit. Trying to become a legitimate lifter myself. Uh, everything felt good, everything felt fast. Um, I hit crazy volume and some decent weights in uh, deadlift and squat uh, the sessions before this so my hips a little angry it doesn't hurt when I squat or deadlift but it does hurt trying to get my hips down um, or excuse me my heels down really hard in this uh, on that flat bench here's Mark just warming up 500 pounds 500 pounds for a warm-up I think he did a uh, heavy doubles this day we'll see what kind of weight he touched but he started handling some really really hard heavy ass weights uh, both raw and a little bit of overload in the slingshot. This thing moves like a piece of cake. Fast as hell. Probably the fastest double with 500 he's ever done. At least since I've been around. Really, really fast. Back to me. Slow and steady wins the race. Nothing impressive happening over here. Just grinding out. Just trying to get better. Working on my form. Working on the speed. Every rep. Um, really trying to keep my back as tight as I can. Keep those shoulders tucked. Uh, it'll just allow me to keep that sternum up a little bit higher. And allow me to really use my back out of the hole or out of my chest. You get some good speed. I'm just really focusing on speed. That's my whole goal. Move these bars as fast as I can. I hit squats later, which you'll see in this video. Uh, and I also, same thing. The weight's not that heavy. You know, it's maybe 80%, 75%. But I'm just trying to move it hard. Trying to move it fast. Trying to move it real good, if you know what I'm saying. Here's Fat Dan. Excuse me. Jack and Dan. His last set, I believe. Really fast. We threw him in the slingshot afterwards to hit a nice overload. He get a... Uh, Maybe 400 pounds or so. I did it for a nice set of five. Here's Smelly's top set. I believe it's 545 pounds. They call me the Black John Stockton. Sitting with the assist. Liftoff man of the century. I can never bench press these types of weights. But I can play my little role in just handing off to him. Trying to be the best teammate I can. That's kind of what it's about at Super Train. Everyone always asks how you get on the team or how you get invited because it is a private gym. You've got to be invited to come. It's just about loading. It's about spotting. It's about encouraging. It's about working hard. Uh, it's about being the best teammate possible. I'm not even close to the top bencher there. Literally, I might be the weakest bencher on the whole team. Um, but I'm there every single session. I'm spotting. I'm loading. I'm doing everything I can uh, to help my teammates get better while putting in the work to make myself better as we go. Who knows what kind of weight this, or excuse me, what set this is. I didn't show them all just because 11 sets of 290 is very, very boring. So I just sprinkled my own little shitty bench in uh, with Dan and Mark's huge benches. Here's Dan's top set. I saw him uh, anywhere from two to five reps. I just needed them to be fast. He's hit 405 in a meet, or I think 402. Um, he's also hit 405 or 410 in the gym. So it's not a weight that's you know he's scared of or anything, but it's just about being fast, being efficient in your lift. Sometimes he has a, a habit of letting his elbows float out a little bit. Even here, even though the slingshot's pulling him in, his elbows are just outside of his wrists. I need him to really pull those elbows in. It'll also activate his lats a little bit more. It'll just get him a, a stronger position to pull. He's working on that. He's working on a couple things with the squats. I think he'll dial it in the next couple weeks and smash a huge total for him uh, that he'll be really happy with. Here's Mark's top set. I think he took a maybe 585 for a double. Uh, in a slingshot and then here's 605 in a slingshot no idea what marks weighing but if I had to guess it'd probably be 600 oh what am I talking about it would probably be 260 pounds sorry I was doing the math about counting it's 605 and maybe 260 265 pounds just for a top single handling some heavy ass weight and he just smashes it the bar gets a little in forward but once he gets a hold of it done 
What's happening, guys? Friday afternoon. Came over to the lady's house to check on the pup. Little Bella. I mentioned before, she's got a ripped ACL. She's all kinds of jacked up. She's trying to do better, but she's just chilling in bed. She might have to have surgery. She's been having some laser treatment and also some um, acupuncture. They're shoving needles all over her. Poor little pup. All right, Bella. So for now, she just kind of chills in here, sleeps, eats. Typical nonsense. Um, <clears throat> we're going to this place called Apple Hill tomorrow uh, with some friends. It's basically a place where there's a bunch of apples. So they make like apple donuts and they have apple pies and apples and it's like a big orchard. I don't know. It's like a October Halloween type thing to do. My hair is awesome right now. I need a haircut. I shaved the beard. The hair needs to go. We'll do that next week. Whatever. So I'm going to squat today uh, where I typically squat tomorrow. Um, no one will be at super training, uh, and my mentality is I could squat alone. Um, I've done it before many, many times, but we're going to go to the old super training location called Midtown Strength, uh, where I still coach a class. Um, there'll at least be some energy. There'll be some music. There'll be a different like class going on in the background, a strength and conditioning or CrossFit class. So at least there'll be people around, so that'll be cool. I'm going to hammer this Chipotle. I know, basic, bitch, and then uh, we'll get to squatting.
listen to the slow jams. Jim's closing up, they're kicking me out. Ryan's trying to get jacked over here. Maybe we'll go eat some food. Maybe not. We're at this place called Apple Hill. On the way up, we received an amber warning that we're gonna die. Flash floods or something. It rained heck of bad last night. I know you can see all the mud everywhere. With my friends, Chris and Tiava. They got their mo white monsters ready. It's only like six in the morning. So who knows what's gonna happen. We're gonna try to find apple fritters and eat them all day before the floods come. And then we'll probably find safe haven in a casino. <laughs> First meal of the day. Apple empanada, some ice cream, apple fritter, just the appetizer. We're at the spot number two, olives, peanut brittle, apples galore. We grabbed another donut of course, and another fritter of course. This place is way bigger than the other one. Oh, look at that. Help us keep on our diet. Thanks guys. Trying to make sure you're getting jacked with your Walden's Farms. What'd you get? Sugar apple donut, apple fritter. Which one's gonna be better? Apple fritter. Got another amber alert. <laughs> it's been delayed half an hour, so we have another hour to spend out here in this beautiful world before we have to run away from the flash floods. I was talking about it in the car, but they, they send you a warning. <clears throat> it's about three lines saying severe notice my battery died in the middle of my rant, but let me tell you what I was ranting about. They give me a warning. Severe warning. Severe storms coming. Flash flood warning. They text my cellular phone, but they do not tell me what to do to save myself and my friends here. All we have is us in a car. We don't know what to do. High ground, low ground, find a boat, stay inside, stay in the car, take the freeway, take the back roads. They give us no clue. I'm not used to flash flooding. Can you just send me more information? Whoever you random person is that texts me. Thank you. Apples upon apples. Pumpkins upon pumpkins. Sandy upon Sandy. Welcome to Stormwatch 2015. I have not, not, no other updates from the random guy that texts me saying there's flooding. I've heard nothing so far. So we're continuing our adventures in Apple Hill. Last orchard. Then we may try to find lunch and more adventures. Each one of these places is pretty cool, pretty similar, but just like apple donuts, apple pies, bunch of apples, pumpkins, Thanksgiving type things. Last stop before the flash floods. Place called uh, Jack Russell Brewery. Yeah, we want some sample beers. I don't know what they are. Do you know what they are, Tiava? List them all. Okay, let's see. You don't have to point, but if you have an idea of what you got. On ours, we have an apple ale, the farmhouse, which is a Saison, blackberry Saison, and what the hell is a Saison? A little on the sour side. Oh, I don't know what I got, but I just picked a bunch of numbers. They have you pick a bunch of numbers. <laughs> it's actually Bud Light. And then, of course, we got popcorn. Because if you don't eat popcorn, you're not living life. What'd you get? Wow. A blackberry mead, apple cider, peach cider, and a sizer. Sizer? What's that? It's like a honey based beer. Cider. All ciders. That one's okay. Do you know which one's which? Yeah, so that's the mead. Is it mead what knights drank? I don't like know. King oh, Arthur's maybe. Court? It is. It does kind of. No, it's 100% what they drank. Right. Are you King Arthur? I am. I don't know what happened. We started in Apple Hill, all healthy, walking around, nature and all that. And we ended up at a buffet with pizza on my plate. Who knows what we're going to get into. Like I mentioned, at a buffet somehow. Of course, you got to go a piece of pizza. you got to go variety. That's the only benefit of a buffet. So, we got fish and chips, some steak, pizza, bunch of chow mein. You go double plate at a buffet. If you don't go double plate, you don't know what you're doing. And then we'll see what we get into next. 
decided to waste some money with jacks here, trying to win some money back. We'll see what happens. Ten free games. Hopefully we'll uh, at least make some money for ice cream. Gambled my life away. Now we're back at the house. Just going to chill, probably nap. Uh, we got up like, I don't know, 7 o'clock in the morning. Let's head up to Apple Hill before anybody else got there. Got a little bit of benching tomorrow, and that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Like that bitch, subscribe to that bitch, share that bitch. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Let's go!